So let's start looking at understanding the difference between the scale type time and the time series in chart.js. And this is very important. So the first thing what we need is we need to get here our boiler template, which you can find on chartjs3.com getting started. This specific link, which you can find as well in the description box. So once you're on here, copy this chunk of code here. If you want to understand this code, make sure you watch this video here that explains it all. So what I will do is I'll just paste this in here. Then I will cut this out, put that in here, save that, refresh. You can see here this is nice, but I want to maximize the size, convert this into 80%, save, ignore that. There we are. All right, so the next thing what we need is to get here basically the time adapter. To get the time adapter, what we need to do is we need to go here to chartjs.org, go to ecosystem. And once you're on here, you're going to scroll down and click here on adapters. And then once we have that, we have three options here. I'm going to recommend you this upper option or else use this option here. Why? Because moments has been deprecated. They're not updating it anymore. So use one of these. I'm going to use this one because this requires only one JavaScript to add. Well, this one needs two. So I prefer this only. So I'm going to click on that, scroll down here and copy this JavaScript file, which is the chart.js FNS bundle. So I'm going to copy all of this. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add it up after the JavaScript library. So make sure that the JavaScript library loads first and then the bundle that supports or the adapter that supports the JavaScript library for the time loads afterwards. If we do this, nothing truly really changes here. And then what we're going to do here is in here in the scales, we're going to pinpoint the X scale because that's the one we want to change. And then in here, I'm going to say here type and now we are allowed to say time. If I do this, then I'm going to say here time and I want to indicate here the unit and the unit will be, let's say month. So if I save this, refresh, nothing happens. Why? Because we are expecting on the X scale a value that is equal to a date. And this is of course not the case right now because the labels here are a string value of characters basically so what we're going to do is let's say here 2022 and then we're going to say here 0601 for June and I'm going to copy this put that in there 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 and there and there so we have this June and I'll make this seven eight and then what I want to do here is I'll make this 10 11 12 and find me here, 01, 2023. If I save this now, refresh, you can see here this works, but look what happens here. This is basically with a time scale. And if you have a stock chart, where you, for example, have the weekends being skipped and special holidays, then you don't want these kind of gaps in here. They have no value. So how do we remove these gaps? Well, for that, we have the difference of the time series. The time series, basically, we're going to put this in here, save this, and everything else we leave in, in place. So you can see here, this time is still related to time object, but the type is just a time series. So if I save this now and refresh, and what is happening now is here, you can see we have the space here, but the space is what we call equal distant or equidistant. And that really means is, or what that means is equal distance with every specific item, no matter how much space we have here. We only have one month skip here, but let's skip this and let's let's push everything else away and put in a January 2023 in there. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to remove all of these options here, except for next year. If I do this, save, refresh, you can see here the equidistance or the equal distance is still same, no matter how many segments of space we add up here. But if I change this again into a time, then we will calculate how much space and every segment gets its equal amount of space here. Of course, this is not what we want, but we want to have this here. Now, in this case, the time series. Save this, refresh, and there we are. And now we have this nicely shown. So if you enjoyed this video or maybe you want to do some real advanced items with a stock chart, in that case, I'm going to recommend you this specific series here, how to create a stock market chart 
like the coin market cap in charge yes and this is part one but there's a whole series in here covering 39 over uh, 49 videos in total and it's very very advanced